This video is going to have a look at solving simultaneous linear equations algebraically using the substitution method. So by the end of the video, you'll be able to apply an algebraic method to solve a simultaneous equation. So when we are applying algebraic methods, there are two methods you can apply. Method one is using substitution. Method two is using elimination. In this video, we're going to have a look at the substitution method of solving simultaneous linear equations. So the steps for using substitution, step one is to choose a variable and make it the subject of an equation. So that means x equals or y equals and x or y is on one side of the equation. Step two is going to be substitute that equation into the second equation. So replacing the variable in the second equation with the variable that is the subject of the first equation. Step three is to solve the equation to find the value of the remaining variable and then substitute in that known variable back into the original one to find the value of the second variable then write the answer. So let's have a look at some practical examples of how we can apply these steps to solve simultaneous equations using substitution. So in the first example, we have got C is equal to 12B minus 15 and 2C plus 3B is equal to negative 3 and we want to solve those equations. So the first step is to choose a variable and make it the subject of an equation. So we have got C is equal to 12B minus 15. We've already got an equation that has a variable as its subject. So we don't need to do any rearranging and we can move on and have a look at step two. So substitute in the equation into the second equation. So we're going to take C equals 12B minus 15 and substitute it in to 2C plus 3b equals negative 3b. So applying the second step, we've got 2c plus 3b is equal to negative 3, and I'm going to substitute in my other equation of c equals 12b minus 15. So it's going to become 2 and then 12b minus 15 plus 3b is equal to negative 3. So you'll see now that the only variable I've got in that equation has a b. So I now no longer have an equation with a c and a b in it. So now that I've got one variable, I can go ahead and solve that equation. So I can first I will go and expand my brackets. So 2 times 12b plus 2 times negative 15 plus 3b equals negative 3. So simplifying, 24b minus 30 plus 3b is equal to negative 3. Collecting my like terms, so 27b minus 30 is equal to negative 3. So applying my reverse bit mass order, adding 30 onto both sides. So 27b is equal to 27. b is equal to 27 divided by 7. So b is equal to 1. So I know in my original equations, b was equal to 1. So now I can substitute that b value into one of the original equations to find out what my c value is going to be. So I'm going to substitute it into c equals 12b minus 15. So that will become c is equal to 12 times 1 minus 15. So c is equal to negative 3. So now I've got a solution for b and a solution for c. I can write my answer, b is equal to 1, c is equal to negative 3. So that's an example of how we can use substitution to be able to solve a set of simultaneous equations. Having a look at the second example, we've got y equals 4x plus 6 and y equals 6x plus 2. So choose a variable that we can make a subject of an equation and we've got both equations this time having y as its subject. So I'm going to choose y equals 6x plus 2. You could also choose y equals 4x plus 6 and end up with the same solution. Note that no rearranging is required because y is already the subject. So step two, substitute equation into the second equation. So because I've chosen y equals 6x 
plus 2. I'm going to substitute that value into y equals 4x plus 6. So instead of y, I'm going to include 6x plus 2, and that is going to equal to 4x plus 6. So now that I've substituted into the equation, I can go ahead and work out my value of x. So 6x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus 6. Collecting all my x's onto one side, I'm going to have 2x plus 2 is equal to 6. Subtracting 2 from both sides, 2x is equal to 4. And then x is equal to 4 over 2. So x is equal to 2. So I've got my value of x. I can go ahead and now substitute in that value of x into one of the original equations to solve my value of y. So y equals 6x plus 2 is going to become y equals 6 times 2 plus 2. So y is equal to 14. So I can write my answer. x is equal to 2 y is equal to 14. So having a look at the third example, I've got 3x plus 2y is equal to negative 1, and I've got y is equal to x minus 8. So choosing a variable which is the subject of an equation, or making it the subject of an equation, I've got y equals x minus 8. So no rearranging is required. So then I can substitute that y equals x minus 8 into my second equation. So 3x plus 2y equals negative 1. So my equation is going to become 3x plus 2x minus 8 is equal to negative 1. So now I can go ahead and solve that equation. So 3x plus 2x minus 8 equals negative 1. Expanding my brackets is going to be 3x plus 2 times x plus 2 times negative 8 is equal to negative 1. So 3x plus 2x plus negative 16 is equal to negative 1. So 5x minus 16 is equal to negative 1. So now I can go ahead and solve my value for x now that it has been simplified. So adding 16 onto both sides, 5x is going to equal to 15 x is equal to 15 minus 5, so x is equal to 3. So now that I've got a value for x, I can go ahead and substitute that value into one of the original equations. So y equals x minus 8 when x is equal to 3. So y is going to equal to 3 minus 8, which is negative 5. So I can write my answer that x is equal to 3, y is equal to negative 5. So that's some examples of how I can use the substitution method to solve a set of simultaneous equations algebraically.